so hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel so it's been long time since i have posted video on this channel so today i'm going to make a new video so that is related to the frequently asked questions in the interview so the topic is selenium exceptions with solutions so in this video i'm going to cover uh, the types of exception that frequently happens in the selenium with the solution that how can we uh, escape that ex exception so let's get started so the first exception is invalid selector exception so as you can see here that this exception occurs when the syntax of the locator that you are using is not correct so for example here it is invalid css selector you can clearly see that this hash is referring to the id and this xyz is the name of the id or means value of the id and this hash I have put by mistake. So if you are going to use this CSS select, uh, locator, so you are going to get invalid select exception. And same goes with invalid XPath locator. So you can clearly say, uh, see that I have used the opposite slashes. So that is, that is not as expected in case of correct XPath. So if you're going to use this locator, you are going to get invalid select exception. So now let's come to the solution. How can we escape this exception? So the simple solution is you need to check the syntax of the locator. So whenever you're going to get invalid selector exception, simply check the syntax of locator. If it is incorrect, then just update it. You will escape this exception or your exception solution will be all right. So let's move to the next exception. The second exception is no such session exception. So as name suggests, so this exception is thrown whenever you are calling any Selenium method post the browser is closed. So it means suppose you are calling any Selenium method and browser is closed due to any reason. It could be a browser crash. It could be by mistake you have closed the browser. After that, if you're calling any Selenium method, so it is going to throw this exception that no such session is session exception. So, so whenever you initialize any browser using Selenium script, new session gets created. Okay. So now when browser is closed, that session is also closed. And if, if after browser is closed, you are trying to call any Selenium method. So that is going to throw an exception that there is no such session okay so simple solution is you have to ensure if your browser is updated and stable that's it okay so let's move to the next exception so the next one is no alert present exception so as name suggests so this exception is going to occur when there is no alert tech box present at the time of switching to alert so it happens many times while execution uh, that uh, the test script is too fast that uh, when you click on any button after that you are expecting an alert but due to slowness of application or maybe you can say that due to the script is too fast that alert is still not opened and selenium method is trying to locate the alert which is not opened yet so at that time it is going to throw you exception that the alert you are looking right now it is not present so to simply handle this exception you have to wait, use wait so that whenever alert is present then only you call the method or you can use a web driver wait in which you can put expected conditions is alert present so that your web driver is going to wait until the alert is present and then do the rest of the execution so let's move to the next exception. No such attribute exception. So as it suggests that this exception thrown by Selenium, when an attempt is made to retrieve the value of known existent attribute for a given element. So it means that Selenium is trying to find an attribute that is not associated with that web element. So for example, suppose a button is having an attribute class attribute. Okay. 
and you are trying to get any other attribute than class that is not associated with the button okay then you are going to get this exception that there is no such attribute okay so the simple solution is just make sure that attribute is available for the web element okay that's the simple solution that if you are trying to retrieve any attribute it should be present for that web element that's it okay so next exception is no such frame exception so as name indicates that the frame or the iframe that you are trying to work with is either not present or has been removed during the test execution okay so it is pretty simple that the frame that you are trying to access is not present that's it so the simple solution is either you wait that for that frame to be appeared or second one is you have to check the frame identifier if that you are using is being accurate that's it and most of the times uh, as for my experience the second one is uh, always uh, happens that you have not used the right frame identifier while uh, you are trying to use the iframe okay so that's it from this video i hope you like the video i am going to make the second series as well for this exceptions part it's very interesting so that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much.